How you feeling? Feel great. <laughs> Good to get back yeah, out there. Just yeah. kind of going full go. Yeah, no, it's, it's been awesome. Um, I think everyone's pretty excited, but the message within the team and from the coaches, like everyone can go hard in the first week. It's all about the second week, the third week, um, kind of ramping it up and not hitting a low period in like the second half of camp. How impressed are you with the whole running backs group? As well? Impressed. We have a lot of work to do collectively. Um, that's with everyone. But I, uh, I really like how the young guys are soaking up the whole the whole playbook because it's a lot to learn. We already know it all, but we're you know we're teaching them everything, and so uh, really impressed with how fast they've picked it up. Um, and then as far as like our physicality goes, I'm. I, pretty happy with that so um, a lot of things to work on obviously with the running back group but pretty happy is it fun to look at the depth and kind of think about what that could bring to this coming season yeah uh, depth is nice because in the spring we didn't have as much depth at running back so uh, individual drills were fun um, very fast pace get your cardio going during individual drills but no depth is nice because you have more guys to pick your brain you know you, you ask them okay what should I have read you know what was my move here what should I have done um, and then obviously when, when the season comes around, rotating through, you know, in the games, kind of having, you know, five, six, seven guys that can all play, uh, theoretically is nice. So uh, I'm excited about the depth for sure. Something we saw the other day, you got to talk with Michael Lewis. How'd that yes. come about? How was that? That was awesome. So one of the professors at the Haas School of Business, uh, she knew him and she's friends with him. So uh, she did a little email intro. I told him about my program. And then we set up the interview up there, um, the field club, and and uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, it's very telling, right? When you start speaking with him, you understand why he's a successful author, just because he's very curious. He, he just he would ask me a question, and then as I'm explaining my answer, he'd kind of interject, not interrupt, but kind of interject and be like, "Okay, expand on what you just said." And so he's a very curious guy, and it was really fun to see. Um, so I picked his brain, and then he kind of asked me questions. So uh, when the video comes out, I think it's going to be pretty good. Are you the subject some? of his next book? No, uh, his next book looks pretty interesting too. It's called The Fifth Risk. So we were talking about that a little bit, but uh, no, not, I don't think I'm interesting enough to be the subject of a book. Have you read any of his stuff? I have. I read two of his books. It was kind of funny. So in the video, we I put the books that I've, I've read, mm -hmm. and they're kind of like his not really famous ones. Mm -hmm. And so he was he was surprised I haven't read The Blind Side because he's like, you know, it's about football, right? And I'm like, yes, I know what The Blind Side's about. Uh, but I read, you know, one of his his most recent book, The Undoing Project, it's like one of my favorite recent reads. Um, so we kind of talked about that a bunch. Coach said he suggested. Uh Road to character to you. Have you had yeah. a chance to get to that one? I have it on my bookshelf. Okay. So uh, I have a I have a long list of books I need to get. Okay. Um, this past year I've gotten more book recommendations than anyone ever needs. <laughs> but uh, the road to character, since Coach Wilcox uh, recommended it, it's kind of made its way to the front. So I'll be I'll, I'll be reading it pretty soon. <laughs> We're starting to see some of the the kids in the program actually come over here and get yeah. the tickets and things. Is yeah. it kind of neat to kind of see it playing out? It's awesome. Yeah, I've gotten. Tons of emails, uh, a lot of logistical things I need to answer. Um, <laughs> so advice for people out there sending out mass emails, make sure you're very specific <laughs> on what you say. Uh, I had to actually send out a clarification email. But no, it's been, it's been great. People have already come and redeemed their tickets. I think the idea behind that is we want the Cal Ticket Office to know, you know, get a rough estimate of how many people will show up. But we're assuming that the bulk of people will show up on game day and we'll have enough tickets for everyone. Have you gotten to meet many? meet any of the Big people the that were deemed. One person, I actually spoke, so he's an elementary school teacher, and I spoke at, to his classroom last season, and he, he came and redeemed his tickets for, I think, his nephew or niece. So I was able to meet him, but I haven't met everyone that's redeemed, redeemed their tickets yet. A couple of the guys in the first week of, of camp mentioned Ross kind of leaping even from, from yeah. spring to now. Have you seen a, a jump in his command of the offense or anything else? Yeah, and that comes with experience. That's, that's all the quarterbacks, but Ross and I had a conversation two or three days ago, and I was just like, man, it's so awesome seeing you out there commanding the offense, hey, cutting your split, you know, in the huddle. He knows exactly where everyone's supposed to be, and that's what you need, um, And but it, you know, it's still open competition. All the quarterbacks are battling. They all have a really good command on the offense, um, but yeah, Ross has that, that experience with him, that kind of bravado and the confidence, and it's, I've loved it so far, and so it's all, like I said, for everyone on the team, but for Ross too, it's about sustaining that for the next two weeks before we play, three weeks before we play. How is it to hear him being a lot more vocal and complimentary with some guys on the offense? It's nice. Um, 
everyone's leadership style is different, but you definitely need those vocal guys, and Ross is comfortable doing that, and he's even more comfortable now that he knows everything a lot better. Anything in particular you'd like to see from the offense here in this next week of training camp? Consistency. It's yeah. really, it's, it's really, I mean, every, Every football player knows that or knows this that camp is really tough in the second, third week. It's it's really hard. It's like one of those times when it's summer, but everyone's wishing for school to start <laughs> so that uh, camp will be over. But it's it's stressed within the locker room. It's stressed in the team meeting, in the team meetings, position meetings. It's like we just in the second week. So for the offense, same thing, same message. It's when two huddle comes, when you know fastball comes, we need to have the same mindset that we had on day one. Because you saw everyone flying around the first week, so we want to see it the second. And that's just naturally the first week you're so enthusiastic, and then all of a yeah, sudden, fresh legs. Did the but, freshman hit a wall too? Um, I mean, it's it's person to person, uh, so we haven't got there yet. But uh, I like you know I think the the new the new running backs they won't hit a wall because we've got a good group. So. <laughs> We'll we'll see about the other guys. Guys. Somebody will be in there. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. the defense, is, I mean, the offense as a whole, the defense is pretty loud, pretty energetic always, you know, mm -hmm. kind of getting you guys on. Are we going to see the offense, you know, fight back at that? I think that's just the defense's personality. <laughs> the DBs like to be loud and talk a lot. That's kind of their character. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I think it's just, yeah, it's, it's you know, kind of position to position. It, it, but it's like the culture of the offense is more just even keel, let's lock in, let's focus. Um, so yeah, the defense likes to be loud, and that's good for us because they try to you know get in our face and kind of talk. And so it's good, it's good. It'll, it prepares us for when we play in the real game. So uh, it won't be from myself, but maybe you know some of the other guys on offense will start yapping back. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Thank you. Thank you guys.